Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and today I'm going to talk about gear. Specifically, a handy piece of gear that it may be used for something that you don't even expect to use it for. So this is a flag. It's just a block piece of material on a frame and then this is a Matthews I'm not sure what they call that. It's a little connector where this side goes onto your light stand. So you can put it like this. And then this allows you to move this on your light stand in different angles. That's hopefully somewhat clear. And these Matthews, any kind of a, like a grip material like that that gives you some control, that's like really handy to have because you can put a, a reflector if you have a reflector mounted like this with a single post, you can use it for flags like this. And a lot of people use flags sometimes to like block unwanted light, but like I often use them on set or on a photo shoot just because the light from the sun is too bright in my eyes and it gives me a way to like be able to see my camera, to take the glare off of either the lens or just off the viewfinder. If I'm using uh, outdoor, it's basically like a large umbrella that I have control over. If I bring a light stand in this, no matter where I go, I can create shade so I can see my monitor or I can see my viewfinder or I can see, you know, that the light is being cut off of the lens and I'm not getting flare. And this is a simple little thing. I think that these flags, I, bought, I buy everything used, so I have no idea what I paid for. I think I got a whole bunch of these at a sale of, got, of a guy selling off his motion picture grip stuff. And I might have paid like 20 or $30 for this, but I think they're more than that. And then these connectors I'm betting are probably 75 or 100, but they're invaluable. You don't need too many of them. And when you need one, it holds everything very securely. And I'm a big fan of, again, the right tools for the job. You don't need to spend too much money on all of this, but you can buy it used, look for it used, look on Craigslist, look on eBay. And if you have a couple of those, a good reflector, a good flag like that, the ability that you can use it to control what you're making and to make it easier to create what you want to make, it may not be as sexy as a new lens or a new camera body, but we don't photograph stuff. We photograph the light on stuff and this allows you to control the light either on the thing or maybe even on you so you can see better and you can work better and be a little bit more efficient as a photographer. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button and I'll bring you some more. Thanks so much for watching.